Welcome to section 9, the bonus section, the naive Bayes model. Back to our COVID problem, if you have a careful look at the graph, you see that on the top we have different factors that can lead to different diseases and they can have different symptoms and correspondingly we can have the treatments. In the previous sections, we saw how we can factorize the corresponding joint probability distribution. And of course, according to that, we can answer different questions, different inquiries, conditional independence inquiries, and so on. But what if we just had a way simpler question? Imagine we want to only de detect the disease type based on the symptoms. So we can define a disease class, allergy, flu, COVID, and then accordingly, we want to look at the symptoms. Uh, an individual comes to you and they, they say, like, I have this or that symptom. And then you want to determine the likelihood of the disease. What is the simplest Bayesian network that can do this for us? What do I mean by a simple Bayesian network? Well, intuitively, that means with, you know, not too many links or namely the Bayesian network with the greatest independencies, because the more independencies we have, the more factorizations we can exploit and we can factorize it into simpler network. Well, perhaps the most simplest possible case is that if we don't have any links between the variables, this is class and the symptoms here. But is that useful? No, because then uh, we can we cannot just link them to each other. There is no information flow between them. It's just everything is independent of everything else. So we want to somehow use these ones. And perhaps one of the next simplest structures is when something like this is when all the symptoms are linked to the disease class. Now there's an issue with this structure. And that is that the disease class, if we focus on it, the corresponding CPV, it can be huge. Because just if you recall, if I want to calculate how many parameters I need for the CPV here, this disease class has three variables. So three minus one, which is two times, these are binary, two, 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 two. So I will just have 32 variables for this disease class. And here I just have four symptoms. Now imagine if I had more. Okay, so this can lead to a huge CPD for the disease class. What's the solution then? Well, what if I just reverse the directions? Now in this case, the disease class will only have two because it has just three variables, uh, values, and I can I will show in the next slide how we can calculate these other ones. This structure will have fewer parameters and it's called the naive Bayes model. What are the local independences imposed? Well, they are basically, if we look at the graph, that each of the symptoms will become independent of the rest of the symptoms condition on the disease class. They are deseparated. So look, for example, congestion will be deseparated from this group of symptoms if it's conditioned on the disease class. It's blocking it, right? Okay, so I will have these local independencies, and uh, namely symptoms are mutually independent given disease class. Now, by specifying the CPT, CPDs, we have the probability of each symptom given the disease. So imagine that we somehow learn, estimate, or know these values. We will talk more about them in the next chapter. Now, you can see the how many variables, how many parameters I need. For the disease class, I only need two. They add up to one. For each of these symptoms, I only need three because they have a parent with three variables and they are binary. So two minus one times three, which is three, you see that these each row adds up to one. So I will have all these and I have my full Bayesian network. But how to detect the disease based on the symptoms? How can we actually do 
the calculation. Before answering that, let's make things more formal. Given a classification problem with the features x1 to xn and class variable y, the naive base imposes the following structure. Okay, it doesn't need to be just medical diagnosis. Any other classification problem, naive base is perhaps your first, first candidate. Accordingly, the features are mutually independent. And this is actually why it's called naive, because obviously, in, in reality, most of the times the features are not uh, independent condition on the class. But this simple naive model works great in many of the cases. And, and it, it has been, it has a record of success, let's just say that. So the joint probability distribution of P, well, I can just use the Bayesian network factorization. Each node condition on its parent, Y doesn't have a parent. So P of Y and all the symptoms, they only have one parent, P of XI condition on Y. This simple form. Okay, so back to our question. We want to determine which disease is more likely if, for example, or all the symptoms are true, okay? So congestion, fever, coughing, and all the other ones here that we listed, difficulty breathing, they all are true. Now we want to determine the most likely disease that the person has. Then the probability of having COVID, for example, and then I can calculate the other two diseases, will be P of Y, the class variable, to be equal to COVID, given that all the other ones are true. How can I calculate it? I'm not going to ask you to memorize any formula. We just use the definition of conditional probabilities, the full joint distribution divided by the summation when we marginalize Y. Now, how can I calculate this? Okay, let's factorize it based on the Bayesian network factorization. So I will just have this form. And how can I get these numbers from the CPDs? OK, let's go through that step by step. So the first one, if I want to get P of C, I just look at the CPD of the class variable. And I see that for C, I have 0 0.3. Next, P of G1 condition on C. So I need to look for the variable G. And here it is. I see that for G1, I have 0 0.2. And this is the C variable. For F1, same story, I look at the row corresponding to C, and so on for O and for, for B as well. And then what about the denominator? Well, we know the formula, how to calculate this. Well, if I just expand it over Y, this means simply that I need to replace Y with C, with U, and with A, and then add them up. This is the definition of marginalization. How to calculate these? Here you are. So for the first one, I need to calculate the value of C, U, and A. Here they're written 0 0.3, 0 0.6, 0 0.1. I just replaced them. What about the other one for G? Well, I just can copy and paste this column here, right? Because that's exactly what I need. What about the next one? P of F1 given Y. So F1 given C, U, A, they're all here, and so on. I can just put replace those columns with the corresponding CPDs. And if I do the math, I will get 0 0.09. And finally, the probability will be 0 0.5. So with a 0 0.5 probability, the disease is COVID. And then I can calculate the other classes. For these two classes, flu and allergy, the probabilities are here. And I see that 0 0.5 is greater than both of them. So COVID is the most probable disease because the probability is greater than the probability of the other two diseases. And they add up to one. So this is how straightforward the calculations regarding naive base are. At the end, I have the acknowledgement 
Thank you for your attention.